This is a tiny little guitar, and that is terrible, terrible lighting. So let's go and fix the lighting now. Let's go and fix the lighting now. I'm much better at lighting than I am at playing the tiny guitar, so let's get started. Um, I'm Steven, I'm a commercial filmmaker. Uh, so I work with professional lights and lighting scenes and things like that all the time, but what I wanted to do for this video was to show you how you can get good lighting at home but only using what's available. So I'm going to do it with two table lamps. I'm going to show you a look for two table lamps and that's for when um, you know you, you don't have access to daylight. So there's going to be two things I'll show you. I'll show you the look without uh, daylight. So if you're filming at night after dark and I'll show you what you can get if you just use natural light. But let's get started. One of the most important things you can do if you're trying to light a scene is cut out all the lights. And then you can see where the light is coming from. So you can still just about see me in here. You can see how bright my, my phone is now by comparison. And actually I can use my phone to show you just a few principles of, of lighting and it's how the direction of the light changes how things look. So I'll lean in here so you can see light from underneath makes you look pretty horrendous. Light from the side creates dramatic shadows on your face. And if you bring the light round to the front and lift it up, <gasps> suddenly that makes you look as good as you're going to look. <laughs> bring it too high, you start to get shadows under the eyes, it doesn't look good, and you bring it down too low, it doesn't look good again. So from just this simple test, we can see that a light in front of the face and slightly above it is the ideal position. And that is probably one of the most important things you can learn when trying to light uh, for filming yourself. Yes, so as I said, I've got two lights and I'm gonna start by switching on this one in the background. Okay, so that light is on. And why have I put that on? I've simply switched it on because having a light in the background just adds a little bit of interest and detail back there. Um, if that was switched off, it'd just be dark and boring. So I said two lights and my other, <laughs> where do you see my second light? This is gonna be my main light, my primary light, the key light as you would call it in, in video terms. <laughs> this is what I'm using. This is just a table lamp with a slightly blue lampshade on it. Um, and this this will work, this will work. Now you probably don't want to use a lamp that's got something like a really strong color on it, like this one. Because, you know, unless you're going for the, the you know, the really terrifying <laughs> red faced look, Try and find a lampshade that's got a neutral color. Let's switch this on. There we go. So even with this, right, you can see I'm overexposed here, but I'll adjust that in a second. Where you place the light will depend on what look you're going for. So if you're the grizzled singer-songwriter type, like Mr. Rocks, you might want to put it off to the side. So you do have a bit of shadow on your face. But if you want to go for maximum maximum flattery you want to place the light almost directly in front of you and above above eye level so the bulb should be above your eyes and the lamp should be as close to your face as possible now you can do this with the lampshade off but the problem is it's a much harsher light whereas if you're getting the light through the lampshade it's diffused it spreads out in your face that just it just looks better. What you're, you're really hoping to achieve with this is, is controlling where the light falls and where the shadows fall, particularly a shadow under the chin. You know, you want some kind of shadow down under here. It just helps define the face a bit. Now I could raise this up even further. You see that? You see how that shadow under my chin is becoming more and more defined? Um, but I'm already, <laughs> I've already stacked uh, two nested tables together to get up to this height. So let's work with a realistic scenario here. And there you have it. That's just a really simple setup for filming indoors when you don't have access to natural light. Now, there is a downside with this. I am using a very fancy expensive camera here. You might be just using your smartphone. And if you are using your smartphone, it's not gonna look quite as good as this. It's gonna look more like, you can see compared to my main camera here, that the smartphone is a lot noisier. And also smartphones tend to do that weird thing with a like mess with where the natural shadows are. It's their attempt to make it look better quality, but sometimes it can it can ruin the lighting that you tried you tried to set up. 
Now, in almost all circumstances, you will get much better results if you have access to a large window and you've got natural light coming in. And that's what I will show you now. So let's bring on the daylight. Not sure if you can tell, but I use some very clever special effects, wizardly, wizard, 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 I can't talk properly, wizardry there to bring on the lights. It really wasn't that convincing, but what is convincing is just how much better that quality of light is compared to what I was using a second ago. I'll flip back and forward here, so this is what I was using a second ago, and this is what it looks like now. So you can see on the phone it even looks it even looks a lot better uh, because all of a sudden you're having a light source which is the size of an entire window lighting you up rather than just that small lamp and that gives you a much softer, much nicer looking light. Now, if you are going to use a window as your light source, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. One is the window should be in front of you. I've seen this happen so much in Zoom calls during this pandemic where um, you'll tell somebody, make sure they sit in front of a window during the Zoom call, and usually what happens, the person does this. They, they think sit in front of the window means I'm in front of the wind. No, it means this. The light should be on your face, not the back of your head. Now, the perfect weather for doing this is what we have today, which is a dull, overcast day, no bright sunlight. That might seem contradictory, but you don't actually want a really bright sunny day for filming with natural light. You want it overcast, you want it cloudy, because then the light's not gonna change halfway through your video, or the sun's not gonna come in and like blind you in your eye. Um, something that's good to do is, if it is a bright sunny day, go to the side of the house that's in the shade and use a window there. You don't want direct sunlight coming in, unless you're going for a really stylized, blinding ray of light in your eye. <laughs> in your eye. Look, blinded by the light. Blind yeah, there's, there's really not much else to say about that. Just get yourself in a good position in front of the window, set yourself up, turn off all the other lights in your room unless you're wanting to have like an accent light in the background. Definitely turn off the overhead light. The overhead light is the least flattering of all the lights because it comes straight down top of your head and it creates the shadows underneath your eye so you look like you've been up the entire night. And um, Turn it off. If you're using if you're using the natural light from the window, keep a little lamp on in the background. That adds a little bit of interest. It adds a bit of contrast and it adds a little bit of color. You can see how the background there is going from see that nice orange, all the way through to a more neutral color. So it just adds a little bit of detail in the background. <laughs> There obviously is a lot more about lighting that you could learn uh, for shooting videos, but I thought let's just keep this simple, something that means you don't have to build anything, modify, make anything. So all you need are two table lamps and a big bright window. So best of luck with your videos and I look forward to seeing them. Bye bye. Sliding is much better now.